New at 10, tonight was downtown Bakersfield's first Friday event. Hundreds of locals gathering in the streets to listen to music, shop, and be with one another on this balmy night. But in the midst of First Friday was the annual Latin Asian Art Show. Connie Tran went out to see what it was all about, and she joins us live in studio to tell us more. Con that's right. Tonight's event at the Metro Gallery was about much more than just art. It was a colorful display of all things Latin. As you can see tonight, it's a celebration. You know, a normal art opening is kind of low-key, low music, you know, people having a glass of wine. This one we make a party. And a party it was. From the outside, you would have thought it was a nightclub, but walk inside and you see people of every color celebrating Latin nation threats. Alvaro Caceres sings for rock band Valorio, but this particular performance is special. Art is something definitely that, you know, we will always have no matter what, so we have to be unified and that's pretty much what this art show is about. Valorio's tunes fill the room and paintings consume the walls. Many show the plight of the Latin culture, a heritage with deep roots in Bakersfield. As a Latino, as a Chicano, as a Mexicano, as a Dominicano, it means a lot to me in the sense that I'm able to express myself in the sense of who it is that I am and what it is that I'm about. Jorge Guillen's emotional interpretation of Mexican revolutionary Emiliano Zapata is exactly what art owner Don Martin wanted artists to show off. Give us their interpretation what Latin means to them. Is it color? Is it heritage? Is it family? Is it culture? What is it? And Guillen's thankful Latin nation gave him a platform. There's a lot of things that mean a lot to me and I have to represent them because otherwise they're just staying here and I can't share them with everybody. With Latin nation getting bigger every year, it seems all artists Artists may get their chance to express their love for this rich culture. Don Martin, the owner of Metro Galleries, says he may have to expand his building next year because Latin Nation is just getting so big and so many people attended tonight and supported. The artwork that you saw there will be displayed for the next few weeks. Live in the studio, I'm Connie Tran for Eyewitness News.